In this video, we will learn stunning fearless photo effect in Photoshop CC 2015.5 by using Photoshop Actions. It will be great fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Okay, so before we start, let me just show you what we can create with these actions. Uh, but before I show you, let me just start, tell you one thing that all of these actions are premium and cannot download freely from anywhere. So I just I am providing these uh, actions for free, of course. So for this effort, you can you have to subscribe, man. Uh, I deserve this. So I hope you guys subscribe my channel to help me out. And uh, let's just start. Okay, so this is a single uh, simple sniper downloaded from David Art and. Uh, after applying fearless it can be turned into this amazing stormy night and it's a simple uh, basically it's in high definition so after applying it is turned into this beast don't you like that okay so let's just see next one this one it is my favorite and uh, today we are gonna be creating this one it is a little photo manipulation and a little uh, work of uh, Photoshop actions so sorry about the traffic and let's start our work without wasting any type of time so let's just close all of these okay so first of all we will create a new document the size of the document will be 9020 by 1080 pixels and we will name it as fearless okay and settings Keep in mind that the resolution is 72 pixels per inch and the color mode is RGB color and the bits are 8 bit. Keep in mind that this action will be work only on these settings. Not these dimensions, you can increase the dimensions uh, but try to use high definition images but this uh, RG uh, resolution, color mode and 8 bit image is important. So hit OK. It will create a new document. So first of all we will create a new background. So we will click on this adjustments and click on gradient okay so click on this uh, gradient palette and click on this black to white and hit ok okay and uh, the next thing is change the style linear to radial and click on reverse after clicking on reverse we will increase the scale to about right like this one maybe 30 yes it's uh, 320 or we can say scale should be up to 310 okay 320 is nice okay so hit ok but uh, i forgot something like this so we'll click and drag this upward a little bit so it could cover our wings so hit ok now the next thing i think is we will import our characters so we will use uh, this character click and drag this in nice size it down a little bit okay and let's just drag our rings the link to these uh, to download these files including actions and these uh, resource files is given in the description so you can free download them if you want to use these so click and drag under this layer press ctrl t size it up and the next thing thing is we'll hide this character and click on polygonal lasso tool press click and uh, separate these both things because we change we want to change these angles so click on this press ctrl shift and j to crop them from the previous layer from the original layer and now these both are separate so click on this to visible and now we'll fix the angle of each wing okay so it looks nice so click on check mark to accept these settings now press shift select all of these uh, uh, layers and click and drag it down a little bit so it could give a nice look so now it looks nice now press ctrl and e to merge them into a single layers 
or uh, you can do another thing is that press control alt z to undo this step now press control and click on this layer then press shift control and hold these both keys and click on these two layers too so it will select all of these layers at once you'll see that and uh, the next step is to create a new layer and by selecting uh, by doing your foreground color as black press control and backspace to fill it with black color now turn off this layer and press shift select all of this layer and press control E okay so all of these layers are in single layer now press shift and select this gradient and these both layers and press control E now the background is still and the uh, selection is different so basically we have created selection and painted the area of this character so we will name this uh, painted or we can say that filled layer as brush keep in mind it is in lowercase so in each actions we have used this brush name but in lowercase so we select the background layer and click on layer new layer and background from selected layer it will create a locked background layer now we'll click on this actions or you can just go to windows and actions and uh, let's just close this or reset these actions before we start our work so okay so before we start we need to do uh, use some brush so we we'll click on right click on this and reset brushes first then go to uh, setting gearbox and click on load brushes okay so uh, fearless okay so when you will download your uh, fearless action pack if it, it will be in zip file when you will extract that it will be open in a folder so when you will open this folder there will be a brush fearless to brushes so click on load and these brushes will be loaded so if you understand that it's nice and then go to windows and actions now we'll click on this bar click on load actions and when you will uh, again on that folder you will see that there is a fearless to atn file so select this file and click on load okay so drag it down now uh, these are angles of uh, uh, rain so from rain will be start from uh, bottom sorry top left to bottom right or top right to bottom left or straight uh, raining so it will be different so whatever you like to do or choose okay so we will use a rain and uh, this is a uh, from top right to bottom left so open this to see what's going on here and it will take a little time so don't be worried about that we will just do it fastly wait for the uh, process to complete click on this play selection okay so the process is finished let's just collapse this uh, uh, actions panel and then press ctrl alt and click on this drop arrow and it will close all of these folders now you can see that it is pretty much nice uh, so what you can change here you can change basically everything here uh, like uh, now you can see that there are uh, too much rain but the character is not so visible so what we'll do is we'll go down and select water drops and turn them off okay and then if you want to increase the visibility of your character so press ctrl j it will be visible more press ctrl j and it will be visible more and uh, many things are which can be increased like increasing your wings or oh, don't need to do that and uh, open this there will be a glow of your image so basically what we'll do is click on layer mask thumbnail press b and go to this uh, soft light brush size it down and erase this glow from its head so again and again okay close this up 
and now you can see that it looks so amazing i i really like this thing and uh, you can do any anything what you want to do like uh, uh, water drop it's a rain so you can just change the rain like its opacity should be decreased or increased so maybe it could be in 75 and it's not enough that it is done just close this all panels after adjustments of your uh, all of your adjustments look like this or whatever you like to do then again click on this action play button and close this rain button and click on add blur glass okay so what is blur glass it will create a glass which will be uh, uh, covered with a little drops which will be dropping down and it will be blurred it look, looks really cool so what we'll do is click this fearless thumbnail and by selecting this add blurred glass click on play button okay so it is saying that in the next window use the slider to adjust the amount of glass blur you want to on the design you can then br uh, brush back onto the layer mask to remove any unwanted blur from your design refer to the video tutorial if you are uh, blah 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 so click on continue okay so how much blur you want to give on your image so you want to give like this one it looks amazing and hit ok so it is done collapse this uh, side panel click on this blurred glass you can see that the face is pretty much uh, hidden so press brush by setting your foreground color as black and softness is 100% we will just erase this from its face and little upper body now you can see that it is pretty much nice zoom it in a little bit and turn this on turn this off it all depends on you if you want or if you want not so i hope you like this tutorial and uh, you like these action packs all of these are free i just need your subscription so please subscribe my channel it will be great support for me and i will provide you actions tons of actions are waiting for you just need your subscription keep visiting on daily basis because i will try my best to do daily tutorial for you guys and i will provide each time a new action pack or some new tutorial so i hope you guys like my work subscribe to my channel and we will meet in our next video keep in mind never stop and keep learning